and Kamil from Saudi. Yeah, we all know that Allah is most merciful, most merciful, most forgiving. The act of innovation are not accepted at all. So the innovators who spend a lot of their time, money, and sometimes they do with the full, the full contemplation and sometimes crying because of this innovation, if all this uh, innovation will go down to the drain. Okay, so basically you are saying that every innovation would be sinful and a person would be accountable in his grave for it or not? Uh, I think no benefit at all to all his uh, good deeds. Okay. Okay. Barakallah fiqh. Kamil from Saudi Arabia. Is it possible that those who innovate would not benefit anything from their innovation? Meaning... I see so many people celebrate Mawlid, they do dhikr after uh, a prayer in congregation, they do uh, innovated dhikr and they do a lot of innovated uh, celebrations, etc. Is it possible that they will get zero benefit or hasanat over this? The answer is, it's in Allah's hands. The hadith we know, the Prophet said, والسلام, whoever innovates, Anything in our religion, it is rejected, meaning it's cancelled. There's no reward in it. However, no one knows what's in the hearts except Allah Azza wa Jal. So there might be a possibility for someone who's ignorant, who is following his peers and scholars who ordered him, instructed him to do this innovation, that when he does it with sincerity, though he's not following the Prophet wasalam, due to his ignorance, not due to his rejection, maybe Allah would reward him, but this is in Allah's hands. We cannot say what we have, according to the evidences from the Quran and the Sunnah, that they get nothing of good deeds. Some scholars say, maybe they would be lucky if they're not sinful. So no good deeds, but no sin. But to claim that they would do innovation and yet be rewarded for that, this is something in Allah's hand, but it goes against what we uh, have of evidences. Imagine